okay. We need vitamin D. I take vitamin D, but we need some sun out in this time. What? There's green stuff all over here. Come here, baby. That's just grass. We're real worried about the weenie dog. She, you know. She is a part of our family, but we're extremely worried about the weenie dog. But anyway, guys, we're out here. We do have a huge front yard, but I know you guys, you can probably tell behind me. I can't really tell because the sun's so bright that yes, our yard needs cutting terribly. But it gets so very wet during the winter time and stuff that we can't cut it till about June. It has been dry for the like a week, week and a half maybe here. So maybe, just maybe, we'll be able to cut it. Jake loves to cut grass. So we have five acres. And I'll show it to you guys if I can figure out how to flip my camera around. I'll just show it to you. Do you see all of it? It's just pretty much, there's Hadley. It's pretty much just grown up everywhere. And this is this is where we live. Pretty so, much that's all. We need. That's everything. We have a lot of work to do at our house back here. We've been here for ten years and ten thousand years. And we love our house. We love where it is. It's so close to our church and our friends and our family now. And we want to stay here, but you know, little bits at a time. Hadley, tell everybody what we're doing. We are playing tic tac toe, and I'm trying to. Draw mama's face on her She's drawing my face. Yes, because it's your. Team. There's the wings. Okay, hey. that's my team. So we're fixing to commence to a, a very challenging game of tic tac toe. Hey guys, I hope you guys are having a good day. Um, we are here at Kroger for the grocery pickup today, so I'm going to keep watching for them so I can have the door open. Um, we had is Sunday. We had drive-in church this morning, which was awesome. It was a wonderful experience. We were so you don't realize how much you miss people, and you miss the act of worshiping as a group until you don't do it for a while, and then when you're by yourself, or you're just seeing the people that you work with, you're kind of like, man, I really wish that I could see um, so and so, or I miss this person always greeting me or this person always doing that but anyway um i started thinking actually i didn't start thinking i'd been thinking the other day a girl that i work with we were talking about all the things that had been suspended and we were talking about our clinic if we thought it would close so sorry about that as i was saying we um were there to get our kroger grocery pickup which they were out of a lot of things. I got a front and back. Hadley says, hey, I got a front and back sheet saying of what they were out of and what they substituted for, things like that. It, I mean. Mom, let's go to that one. Or that one. Or that one. Or that one. Um, so now we're at a red light waiting to, um, we're going to go to Sonic and get something to eat. We have not had anything fast food in a long time but um that's what we're gonna do now i wanted to tell you guys um honestly to we were what i was saying was we were talking the other day at work about all the things that were closed and if we would close we were talking about the things that were closed and like the surgeries that had been put off and the um procedures that had been put off and going through fertility treatments i still follow on Instagram our fertility doctor and I was thinking to myself what are those people doing like are they are they still having like procedures done okay guys sorry um the light turned green but what I was saying was I know when Jake and I were going through fertility treatments that each month that you weren't able to do it for whatever the reason might have been was heartbreaking it was like a kick in the gut and I know that a lot of you who have never had trouble having children that is a huge blessing for you really it is and going through fertility gives you a perspective that um, 
if you had not gone through it, you don't have, which, and that it is a blessing. But um, now Jake and I see it as our journey was to help other people. And that's why we don't mind sharing our story. We don't mind telling people things. But um, really pray for those people. I'm not sure if those procedures have stopped. But if they have, those people have spent so much time and so much money trying to, you know, expand their family and hold a baby in their arms to feel that baby kick. Those are things that are just so, so precious to somebody like that. And we need to pray for the people. If they are doing procedures, we need to pray for those people for their safety. We also need to pray for the people having the procedures done. But like I said, I know that Jake and I had a few months to where we could not do the treatments when we were trying. And those months, I was beside myself with disappointment and uh, there was some fear and there was just sadness because when you're going through that you look at the world and all the world is going on around you people are getting pregnant people are having babies and while you're happy for those people it's kind of like the world expects you if you show emotion about that if you show you know what I'm happy for them but I'm sad for me I'm sad for my circumstances I'm heartbroken that this comes so easy for some people but for me it's hard and I get that that's the road that you travel God gives us each a story to tell and I think it's all up to us how we tell that story so anyway um hey, just think about just think about all those people who are going through those fertility treatments right now um Jake and I will share our story on here at some point in time. We do not mind doing that because we found that it does help people. It helps people through their journey. It helps people with, um, you know, just the fact that there is a little bit of hope. You wait for so long and your hope is so high when you first start the adoption process. And then as you wait, because it is a wait, I have to be honest here because I told you guys I was going to be real with you. It is, it's hard. Guys, please think about those people today who may have to stop their fertility treatments, who have taken shots and their hormones are out of this world, crazy, and all of a sudden, if they're having to stop, then they're done. Is there another month that'll be a disappointment? Another month with a negative pregnancy test? And, um... While those people are excited for those of you who get pregnant, who don't have trouble getting pregnant, they are happy for you. I can tell you from experience, they are happy for you. But it is hard to process all the emotion that goes in with that. It's hard to process... I'm so excited that you're having a baby. I'm excited that there's a new life coming into this world, but I'm devastated for me. It's hard to know where to put where to put those feelings and how to um, I don't know how to say it. It's hard to know where to place them. You have to shove your your emotion down for yourself so that you can be happy for those around you. So just remember those people in Prayer. Remember our healthcare workers that are in the field actually taking care of COVID patients. If you guys are interested in like my grocery hauls, what I buy for my groceries, y'all let me know. Now it's a little bit different because, you know, I do grocery pickup instead of going into the grocery store most of the time to protect others and myself. Just let me know in the comments below and we'll see you guys next time. Bye. So, guys, we were at Kroger doing our um, grocery pickup. And um, they were out of a lot of things. We had to substitute some things. But I was overall pretty happy with what happened. I mean, what happened? What all we got? And um, it seemed to be fine. Um, I would like the grocery store to be back to normal so that I can get the food that I need to eat on my new way of eating. It is hard to do when you can't get your things, you know. Um, 
you guys oh gosh i'm sorry this is just life my hair so anyway come back this way and i'll show them hadley's flying her kite again today we flew kite yesterday and she's trying but it's not oh there it goes a little bit there you go there you go on days when it's not very windy you have to keep running babe Hey guys, so we're back at home. We did do our grocery, our Kroger grocery pickup. Mama. This is how you hold it because this is how it flies, Hadley. Sorry, we're trying to figure out how to fly a kite. She did it yesterday, but it's not really windy today. So, what's happening? So anyway, we went to do our grocery store pickup and um, it went pretty good. They gave me a list of things they were out of, which is a good bit of stuff. They did substitute a good bit but all in all this is what it looks like if you can see Hadley flying her kite or trying to fly her kite in this weather all in all it was pretty um good I was pretty pleased with what while we got I was surprised um of course I didn't try to get toilet paper paper towels stuff like that and I'm sure that that is um out still but I did get some of the stuff that I needed, so I'm grateful for that. Um, tomorrow morning is Monday. I have to get up at 4 or 4.30 and teach, and then I have to go to work. I'm not sure how long I'll have to go to work, but I will be there. So, um, okay. Hadley wants me to show. Let's go. Ready? Set, go. Good job. Keep running or it's going to fall. Fall. Hey, you guys. It's me again today. Today is Wednesday. And we are outside. It is very bright out here. But it is a good day. We finished school. We slept in today. Which is something we needed to do. And we, um, we got school done. We did it a little different today. And it was great. They, we are taking a walk out here so that you know we can get some exercise she's fine Hattie we can get some exercise and just kind of move about we have been inside for most of the day it was kind of cooler this morning and we've all had some you know sinus issues so we didn't want to get out when it was cooler but now it's very pretty it's very nice so that's good we're just you know hanging out doing our quarantine thing today um the governor of mississippi finally issued a stay at home thing there's the dog and we're going to turn around there's hadley you know kids being kids they're <clears throat> a little crazy now so Kind of what's happening jingle do you want off the leash no. come here dog can fly you know they have those docks and races and somewhere in alabama i think she is so fast and she hops like a rabbit i mean she really is i know it looks like hadley's out running her right now but believe me if jingles really wanted to outrun her it would be no problem for her Pressure we're down. thinking what'd you say I think my air pressure's going down. Your air pressure's going down? <laughs> this is where our garden will be. That thing poking up right there is a storm shelter we don't use. But this is where it'll be. I don't know how big it'll be. But we're really wanting to um, have pretty good, a good size for us so that we, you know, can have a good bit. And also so we can give, like, the squash and zucchini the actual space it needs to grow because it will take over everything so anyway that's about it we might go back in i need to start some supper so we'll talk to you guys later and i haven't decided yet whether i really want to do a cleaning video with y'all we live in this house and when i say we live we really live and it is real life and we're not the type of people i say we most of the people that live in this house are not the type of people to be done with something and then take it and put it back where it goes. Mm -hmm. Most people don't do that. Hadley wants me to tell you guys that 
she is watching. What are you watching? No, I'm just playing on my Oh, she's playing on her little tablet thing, a game called Roblox. I don't know much about it. So if you guys have any warnings or whatever, if you if it's fine, if y'all found that it is fine, then great. But if not, let me know so that I'm not. Hmm. I just want to make sure that I'm not letting her play something that she shouldn't be playing. So anyway, guys, that's what's happening right now. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it's a mixture of so many things and it might not be, um, it might not make as much sense as I in my head thought it was going to, but anyway, I appreciate you guys watching our channel and subscribing and liking just remember to uh, ring that bell so you know when we put out another video and be sure to keep praying for all those affected by the virus and guys we just appreciate you so much we'll see you next time